של אוהם למשל, ונסתר פה זוז בגב נו פרייס די הבא שמי על שי, דבלונס זה פוסט של GMS, אינו יוסי פרס דו נו וואק אין שוויף וואה סינסריטי. You know, I was, uh, you know, just reading through Joshua, you know, been taught of reading through uh, Joshua uh, over the week, you know, and I basically came across this verse, right? And, you know, we've had all this nonsense that IUIC have been pushing out, which is nothing new there. But basically, this is Joshua 2 and 9, it says, And he said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror is fallen, fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. Right, it says, for we heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For your power, your power, he is God. In heaven above and in earth beneath, right? So as, as other brothers have been bringing out, when you look up the, you know, the etymology for name, one of the things that come up is reputation, right? And you know, that, that, that geezer brought out, um, if we go back, he brought out Malachi 114. Ah, oh, Salaki, wrong one, Salaki, give me a sec. Right, it says, uh, but cursed be the deceiver which had the flock it as a male, and vowed and sacrificed unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord, and my name is dreadful among the uh, among the heathen. Right, and you saw that with Rahab the harlot. Right, she was, uh, you know, she she was saying how the people in Jericho were, were just like, yo, <laughs> yo, you don't want to mess with them Israelites, not because of the Israelites themselves. Not because they knew how to keep the laws, but because of because of the higher power, you know, because of Yahweh, right? You know, I'm just going to try to keep it short, you know, in the purpose of time. It says, uh, Ezekiel 36 and 16 says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by the way, by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman, wherefore I poured... Uh, my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it and i scattered them among the heathen and there were and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to to, to their doings i judged them and when they entered unto the heathen whither they went they profaned my holy name when they said to them these are the people of yahweh and are gone uh the fourth out of uh, out of uh, his land, right? So basically, you know, where you know when it talks about we profaned, you know, that's because it was going off, man. You know, it says, but I had pity for my holy name because basically, what the Lord, you know, this this statement here, these are the people of the of Yahweh, right? You know, because by us going off, by us doing wickedly, you know, I'm therefore being punished for it. You know, people are looking at us like, yo, these these are the people of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying, you know. So it was given. It was making. It was making the Lord look bad. You know, sort sort of like how um, you know, you know, you know. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to put this man on any level. But Lawrence Fishburne, right? His daughter's a fucking porn star. And everyone goes and looks like, yo, that's, <laughs> yo, that's Morpheus's daughter, man. You know, that's making him look bad. Sort of like how if your son was a homosexual, that's making you look bad. You know, but Israel's Israel are going to whoring. You know, we're making you know we're making our you know our power how it look bad. You know, by by all the way that we were um, going off. But listen to this: it says, "But I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, Power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my for mine holy name's sake." which ye have profaned among the heathen with the ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which has profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith, 
save the, uh, it's like it. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, because you know when it's in all caps in the Hebrew, it means Yahweh, right? Says so, save, save, uh, uh, save the Lord power when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, for I'll take you uh, from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, right? So basically, part of um. You know when when the when the Most High basically puts Israel right, right goes on to say that you know he's going to give us the uh, the the heart of flesh, right? Basically, Israel's not going to be going off, right? And it's going to make, you know, it's going to it's going to um, basically we're going to stop profaning the name of the Lord, right? You know, and all of the all of the people are going to be like, yo, shit, you know, that's. You know that is uh that is that's that that's the children of Israel, man. Those are the Lord's people. Those are Yahweh's people. You know, cause you know. Let me just read this. this is Isaiah forty two and eight it says, "I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another." It's like I am Yahweh. That is my name. In the Hebrew, that's what it says. You know, and the Lord only has one name. You know, He has many titles. You know, Allah is a title. Allah just means power. Allah Shadia, terrible demon like like power. And see, and that's another instance of uh, of why this name is dreadful among the heathen, right? Um, you know, I'm just going to end on this slightly, um, you know, similar topic. This is Zechariah 13 and 9. It says, I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is, is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. So what's that saying? That's saying that the elect will know the name of the Lord. So if if IUIC is saying that none of them know the name because, well, it's in a different language, then really and truly, that's they're saying that none of us are of the elect. You know, and if they don't know what the name is, then there's a possibility that, you know, what we say of Yahweh being correct, if, so like, let me try that again. If they don't know, if they say they don't know what the name is, they don't know that Yahweh is not the name. So therefore, why did he take the piss? Because once again, they have no fear. You know, so... You know, I'm trying to think of, of of an analogy, but I can't really think of one at the moment. But if it's one of those ones, there is, in their eyes, they say they don't know the name, so there's a possibility that Yahweh, in their eyes, that Yahweh is the name. That Yahweh is the name, right? So then, why do they why why do they take the piss? Why do they take that risk? Really and truly, because they don't fear the Lord. You know, so you know, with that. No, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna gonna close that one up, man. You know, because name is also, um, you know, synonymous. Oh, not synonymous, but you know, it's also to do with your reputation, man. You know, and Israel profaned the law. I mean, profaned the name of Yahweh by going off. You know, it was it, it tarnished his reputation. But when you know when Yahweh come, you know when Yahweh Shai comes back. You know, and he uh, destroys this man, this man Esau. You know, and he basically puts, brings us back to our, um, you know, brings us back to Yahweh, becomes a mediator between us. I mean, he's already doing that, Salakia. But basically, when when Israel's back in its right state, you know, then people, you know, heathens, even the two thirds. Well, I mean, you know, the two thirds are going to come back through the, you know, through the, uh, through the elect, through the ones that make it. But the heathens won't, won't be trying to take the piss. You know, they're going to say, yo, did you see the way he destroyed America? That has to be the Lord. That is Yahweh. You know, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.